Okay, so I just want to circle back to an importing error that I realized happened here with the point cloud import. What you can see right now is we have individual points under this point cloud import. And the issue is that the, the default settings for when we imported, when I said they were fine, they're not. Uh, there are some additional, there's one additional thing we need to click there. There is a workaround, however, if you do have this data already in your computer. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go to this point cloud. So this is just picking up on the second tutorial in this series, but we had opened this file just like this. This is this was our off ground points, a txt file. And right now we have quite a lot of individual points. This is not necessarily a, a sort of point cloud type within the set. So as this loads, you can see here, these are just point sequences. So we're looking here at just over a million points. And, and this these points do represent the point cloud data, but what you'll likely find is this data set itself is, is super heavy. And so what we're gonna do in this case, what we can do is actually type in point cloud. So we can create a point cloud from these points within the drawing file itself. And so that's what we're gonna do right here. And you'll see that that function works pretty well. So now when we click over here, you can see the type is a point cloud. Whereas before we saw that it essentially was counting every point, right? So over a million points. Now this is a point cloud type. The red perhaps isn't the easiest to see. So I'll just switch this to black just so we can take a look. A look. What you'll find immediately is this uh, data set. You're able to navigate this a lot more easily. Very, very light. So that's how you fix the importing issue. Where the, where the issue really comes from, and I've mentioned this in a couple tutorials, is that some of the defaults on, on this new Rhino license are uh, a little strange compared to what I'm used to. So if you're going to import a TXT point cloud file type from Cloud Compare, I would recommend you go ahead and go file open. And we'll just use the same file as before, specifically the off ground points. And this is our TXT type right here. We can see it's a text document. That, that's what we're looking for. Those text documents, that text document info is, is the X, Y, and Z data sets listed out. So that's how it reads those. Here's really where the issue came in. Um, we want to create a point cloud, right? So this option, we, we just want that selected. Um, previous versions of Rhino that, that I suppose at some point I, I had that checked. So just make sure you have that checked. Uh, always use these settings. You know, when you're importing a TXT file, sort of at least in my experience, I'm not certain of another reason why you would do that other than, than wanting to create a point cloud. So just make, make sure, go ahead and give that a click. It's up to you if you want to always use those settings or not, but in my, for my purposes, I, I do. And that's about it. You should be okay. Hit okay on that. And there we go. So you can see you have that same file type. This is, uh, in many ways, you know, just operates the, the same way in terms of what we did in this other file type where we manually switch those points to point clouds. But that's a great way to just make sure to do that. You're eliminating one command and, and that load time will just appear. There'll, there'll be a bit of a, a lag for opening the file the very first time and that's it. And then it'll be far lighter for you.